Hi guys, and welcome to another quick tip on iOS development. So one question I sometimes hear from newer developers is how do I go about changing the name of my project once I've already created it? So as you know, when you first create a project in, um, in Xcode, you're asked to give a project name. Uh, once you've provided that project name, Xcode uses that value to set certain folder names, your bundle name, and all of that good stuff. And that's essentially what becomes the name of your app when it's published in the App Store, when you, when you install it on the simulator, and things like that. So what I've got on screen, just to illustrate this, um, is if we want to be able to change the name of a project and in this case I've got a project called simple table view if I click into it you'll see of course that there's the uh, respective folders my projects called simple table view dot Xcode project right so the way I would uh, uh, normally see myself changing the project name is say I've got uh, some new code that I want to test out and I want to use my one of my projects as sort of a base project what I typically do then is I make a copy of that project and then simply test out my changes in that new copy. This allows me to go back to the original if I ever need to. So of course if you're um, on Mac on Mac OS X all you have to do to make a copy is I would select this press down the option key and just drag it and let it go and then of course what OS X will do is rename that folder to uh, and append just a number value so it says instead of simple table view it's simple table view 2. Now this is of course nothing new if you've been on a Mac for a while you know how to do this but if you were to click into this you'll notice that the project folder is called exactly the same as the other project file so if I were to double click this you would notice that simple table view and simple table view 2 which are the two project folders that we have have the exact same names for the Xcode project so this doesn't really help us because if we wanted to truly test this out in the simulator or on our device uh, we would have two projects with the same name and would be essentially overriding each other so Let's take, for example, this particular project. What I want to do maybe is change this from simple table view to advanced table view. So what I would do is I would launch this project, and that would fire up Xcode. And with that open, you'll notice, of course, here that I've got in my file navigator, um, or the project navigator, I've got the name of my project. So if you're on Xcode 4 and later, all you have to do to change this is you double click into whoop, not double click but rather single click into the name here and I can just simply change this to advanced table view and hit enter and I get a prompt from Xcode that says do I really want to rename all of these I say yes all of this is of course checked I hit rename it's going to take a snapshot of it and hit OK. And now you'll notice that our project is called Advanced Table View. In fact, if I were to click out of that particular selection and maybe try one of these images and come back here, you're going to notice that even my bundle identifier has now changed to Advanced Table View. Now, you may notice, of course, that this particular folder is, called, is still called Simple Table View. Um, it doesn't really matter because that's just a internal container to Xcode. We could easily change this to Advanced Table View if you're really picky. And leave that there and now you'll find that if I were to run my application my app should be called advanced table view even within the simulator so let me go ahead and quit this application and you'll see of course it's called advanced table view right so one thing that you should also know is if all you are trying to do is change the name of your application you don't actually have to rename your project there's a much simpler way to do this so let's do um, a couple quick things here what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and stop this application and then I'm going to click on my um, within this uh, project navigator I'm gonna come down to my supporting files and then I'm gonna jump into my uh, info.plist file now if I click over here and come over to this option called bundle display name this is the value that is actually being displayed in the simulator on the device so if all you're trying to do is give your project a new fancier name maybe you came up with a better name for your app but when you initially created the project you called it X but now you've got this new snazzy name called Y and that's what you want people to see when the app is installed on their device or in the simulator then all you have to do is come over to this bundle display name click into it and let's just call this I'll just set it to my name call it Vishal and I'm going to do a command R to install this application and again you see it's the same app if I close this out you'll notice that now 
my application is called Vishal. So that's all you have to do. Remember, in this case, to rename this actual app, we did not once again change the name of the project. We simply changed the name of our bundle in this info.plist file. So I hope this is helpful, especially if you're a developer that has come up with a better name for your application and um, you want to change that real quick and um, make that effect. So thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful.